up, that thickens the black liquor before we put it in the reformer to convert it over to the energy. Okay. So that was a separate okay. system uh, that we designed for ourselves. This one has run for about two and a half years uh, from HPD, that's the company in the States, a U.S. children are called, and that system would just work like a dream. So. Right.
to evaporate the liquor to make the system work come from the exhaust itself. itself. Okay. Wow. So here's where we pick up the exhaust of the heaters, these big ducts. Yep. There's the other one for one of the chicks up on the other side. So that collects all the hot gas, exhaust gas. It discharges a hot exhaust gas. This is our boiler. Now it's hard to imagine. This line here, where did that come from? That comes from the top of the reformer. That's the hydrogen line. Okay, wow. So the hydrogen comes down in here. That's the hydrogen burner. That's about the hydrogen we're going to burn. Burns in this boiler, special boiler, burns the gas down to make the steam. When it gets to the bottom, we now have this exhaust gas, which is very hot. We reclaim some of the heat to make the steam to fluidize the bed. Yep. The rest of the steam goes back in the boiler, up on the other side of the boiler, and makes steam to run the mill. And we capture all the heat on the waste side. Wow. That's why it's so efficient. You recapture everything and you have to everything. is a gas line, the other the yellow line, which when we're not running the hydrogen, we put some gas in, and then when you had the green reformers running, that big silver line is the hydrogen supplying to run the boiler. Okay, wow. Amazing. Amazing. That gas comes, that hydrogen coming out of there, 1100 degrees. Wow. So you don't cool it when you put it to a boiler, for a fuel cell, so you don't have to have a, a cooling, uh, losing energy to cool itself. It's the boiler and it's gone. It goes in the boiler and it's gone. 